All right. Let's start the show. We're starting the show. <laughs> and action. The blinking light means go. <laughs> and you're opening it, right? I am opening it up. Spreading well, the panties. I mean, you don't have to yeah. if you don't want to. It's, it's you want me to do it? It's hard and weird sometimes. It's Dude, hard and weird. That's shit. what she said about my Bono. <laughs> my Bono, man. <laughs> hard and weird. <laughs> get it. Get it. Hard and It's sexual. hard and weird. It curves to the left. <laughs> I mean, not everybody curves to the left, but a majority of them do. <laughs> Gotta. I, I thought it was fucking hilarious because I was talking with my buddy the other day. Turn it on. No, it's funny. <laughs> wait, we're going. We're we, going. We, we're we still still going. Need, oh, I mean, this is all in here. Well, let's start it up now. All right. Uh, all right. I told my buddy the other day, is like, <laughs> stop saying small dick energy whenever you go do something. Or why? Because it's not like, because he does on this part of his, at the end of his segment, during the segment. Make sure to tip your bartenders, and if you don't, you're wearing Jordans and got a diamond earring. You got small dick energy, and you got small dick. I was like, dude, stop doing that. Do stank dick, because no matter how small your dick is, and no matter how prematurely ejaculated, nobody wants stinky pee pee. Ever pee pee? No, nah, small dick. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. Like I, well, I told him that, and the first thing I thought it was the interview. My dick says, like shit. got stank dick. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome to everybody. stink everybody. dick. Welcome to Distorted Minds. Hey, we're doing a part oh. two. We decided to do another one. Fuck it, it felt right. It felt good. Yeah. I love having this guy on. And yeah. He agreed to do another one. Oh, for you no, know, I signed the disclaimer. For no That's pay. Why. So for nothing other sue. than giggles. little to no pay. <laughs> I needed therapy, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is that's what this is all about. Right. <laughs> Distorted minds and we're trying to like soothe your mind. Okay. So can sure. I explain the sign? I don't know. Wait. Um let's oh. get, let's uh, let's hit the theme song. Yeah. Before we get to that, the theme song, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Distorted minds. <laughs> I wrote this. Ready set go. I know it sounds like shit. I just wrote it on a whim, and I haven't changed it yet. Hey. Yeah. I'm loving it. Right? (laughs) We're not getting paid for that. Clown porn. (laughs) Not sponsored by Nick Bang in it. Not at all. Max Sabbath? Not at all. He just drops it. We're sponsored by Dr. K. No. I thought Kmart went under. It's not. Is it? No, it's that's not a gas Kmart's, station, right? But yes, they did go oh, out of business. Oh, it's Kroger. Kroger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I forgot. Yeah. The big K. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. There's not too many Indiana businesses that are still here anymore. Like the other day, I was fucking around with Steak and Shake, and they're still I don't here. Even, you know? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. dude, they got a garlic steak double. That's I used phenomenal. To like them, is it the four for four? Or is that... It's a part of it. You can get that in like a super small fry, but I always get the large one because I'm a larger mammal. God so. Damn it. We need a mechanical assistant that's nah. also going to be the intern as well. So if you can fix his chair and help out with writing sessions, that's a freebie, guys. So enjoy. Goddamn chairs. I know. I need a new fucking batch of chairs. I know. Yeah. We need to start a Patreon. Sorry, don't worry about it. It's all right. Quit calling attention to it. <laughs> don't look at it. It's not going to get larger and engorged by chair. itself. Hey, just look. just stop. Look, Just look away. Fuck. I know. We'll cut the scene out. No, I know. For like, for like five seconds. We'll just, just put a blank over. Well, it. it's gone. It's it's <clears> just <throat> went. Little blue pill denied. So. Yeah, my brother can get a prescription for that. Well, now. were we talking about something and you were gonna get back to? Yeah. I was gonna mention the little signboard that you have right there. If you it, haven't if read al- it yet. If you haven't read it yet, it's should still it's be eliminated. It's pretty alarming. It's. <laughs> Here, here Tom Hanks though. was in Castaway, and Tom <laughs> Hanks was 
alone with the volleyball named Wilson for five years. So if you really want to believe that Wilson wasn't just inseminated at some point for five years, because like obviously he's eating crab and coconut, and I don't think I would stick my penis inside a coconut. Yeah. I mean, he had a fucking ice skate. He could have just cut us in and rocked and rolled. So I don't know. That's what I usually do. I mean, how do you think he? Because hey, you, you, know, you like, know what the like, other option was. If to you this. jerk off, you're weird though. Yeah. So he had what to fuck. Doing? Well, I'm weird. I don't care. He I had to I fuck Wilson because that's not jerking. It's either off. that or the other option was <laughs> like the last package <laughs> that he took to the lady. You know, the hey. the last box that he never opened because yeah, he opened yeah, up yeah, everything yeah. else. Some more videotapes, some more the ice skates. It was a pocket pussy. Right? No, no, <laughs> it's a blow up doll, and he could have used the blow up doll as a raft. <laughs> He could have just floated away on Geraldine until the freighter picked him up. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> like, it's got to be something uh, like Matilda or something classy like Claudia or Charlotte. Geraldine you know? was perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was you great. Know, like it Maldine. sounds like someone who would be in a Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> Yeah, there's no crying in baseball, bro. I mean, <laughs> just be like, "Well, we found this guy floating around on the goddamn blow up doll." Is that a right. quote for that one baseball movie? Yeah, that I, was uh, never, from a league of their I've own. Never seen that one, but I've heard a lot about it. It's a good one. It's got there's Gina no Davis and Laura baseball. Petty. Yeah, John Lovitz is in there. It's the I love baseball him. scout. Yeah. Funny, funny Jew. It works, guys, where he says uh, something I can't remember. It's uh, Biddy. Sh- Shram or Scram, I can't remember her name. But Scrum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she starts to cry. And he's like, are you crying? My coach used to call me a steaming pile of pig shit, and he never cried and blah, blah, blah. There's no crying in baseball. Like, he just goes on this rant. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. You got you guys it, remember uh, uh, Angels in the Outfield? I loved that. The I fucking. Angels win the pennant. <sighs> yeah. I, I remember seeing it as a kid and Joe Gordon Levitt. Oh my gosh. Yes. That dude is so fucking good. <laughs> I love Joseph Gordon Levitt. Danny Glover, Christopher Lloyd. Oh yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> been yeah. forever since. JP, I've seen run that. home. Run home. <laughs> run home. And he goes and runs literally yeah, home. Because you told him to go home, dude. Right. Oh. <laughs> here Classic. comes up to bat, babe. <laughs> kid with the fucking snaggled suits. Yeah. Classic. I loved it. What else have you watched lately? Oh. Uh, Trumbo. Not seen that. What is that one? Trumbo. Uh, Sounds like a delicious New Orleans Creole. That, delicious. That sounds design. like the, yeah. ep- the episode. It's of- what's his face? Brian Cranston. He's uh, like so a film director. Is that where he's the judge and he, all that? No, or? he's like a director or something, and, but he's like. A communist or something right. and they they no. like kind of blacklist him and he no. kind of just writes scripts he's too good to deny so he writes scripts for other people and puts right. their name on it and shit. i don't know damn it Did, was a good one like the last I don't know. The, the last one that i saw with cranston, I'm, not a, I'm not doing it justice no um <laughs> i've not seen it and i like cranston ever since malcolm I think in the middle it just, days so yeah i think it just left netflix so i don't know where you find it now the last one i saw was the upside with him and kevin hart i think oh, i didn't good. see that one He's a paraplegic, and Kevin Hart plays an ex-con trying to fix his life and make it better to get custody of his son and be a better role model for him and his son and everything, and it ends up with a good ending and everything, but yeah. It's called what? Up? The Upside. Oh, yeah. It just came out w- like... I just watched one called Downhill. Have you right. seen that one? No. Will Ferrell and uh, Julie, oh, it's the, Julia Louis. Yeah, Dreyfus. yeah, I've, I know of it. I haven't watched it yet. I want to. It was okay. It's yeah. kind of weird. You yeah, know, you know the premise of it. Where no, they're like they go skiing, mm. ski resort, and then there's like an avalanche. Yeah. that kind of comes down over them and like locks them in. They're all kind of n- not really no, nah, but like, like, it comes down while they're dining or whatever. Yeah, and then. Uh, the her and the children get all traumatized and he he fucking picks up his phone and like runs away right. dude so he's fucking like a Damn. coward and shit and 
So, so like he sees it and he just bolts. yeah he sees it he grabs mm-hmm. his phone and takes off while right. her and the kids are just right there like huddling together oh, <laughs> so he's like it's frustrating movie because he's like a coward and you're like you feel bad for well, him and it's like, like that's like will ferrell's uh, most of his so, shot oh, okay shit. we're back we were talking about will ferrell and downhill <laughs> <laughs> that's never happened. happened before right it paused and then you hit a button a right now? i don't know do we gotta make that a rule i don't know it that glitched that i mean for one it's either act of god or you got spirits right. of the supernatural paranormal in here you're speaking of supernatural man right. i was gonna get i was gonna get a. Uh, because I see everybody this with the same tattoo. Runs on the the fucking... Oh, the devil's trap? Yeah. I was see, gonna get... I went... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to get a reaper trap. Nice. I want to get the mark of Cain like, right the fuck there. That would be cool. I was thinking yeah. about that. Get Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson's been got. I don't know if you saw the He's sign. A... <laughs> Because like I'd put I'd put Wilson the volleyball up against when Cartman was doing the little J Lo thing with his hand. My and, like, name he is would... Lopez. Yeah, I love you, Mimi. Yeah, and he was all about it. Yeah, give you taco flavor kisses. Taco taco. Get it. Fucking South Park is the shit. Have you ever seen Punch Drunk Love? Mm-hmm. It's weird as fuck. Mm-hmm. Super weird. Mm-hmm. Is Adam that... Sandler. I wasn't expecting that from name. him. Because he had anger Philip, management come out with Nicholson, and then he had that come out, and it's like, ah. Philip Seymour Hoffman in mm-hmm. that movie? He's like a piece of shit fucking... You know how he died, right? Philip, I can see Hoffman. No, Philip Seymour Hoffman, no. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. He, he had an overdose, and while he was... They found him and police come through they had found 50 bags of heroin in his apartment damn titus uh christopher titus i love that guy he uh was talking about it on his podcast one day because he's got one with his girlfriend uh bombshell ray and uh, some other co-host dude uh but yeah he was talking about it and i like philip seymour hoffman i don't I love him. He fuck, He's in Twister, man. He was in Patch Adams, and I saw that as a I kid. I just watched Patch Adams, yes, too. It's on, my li- it's on my list. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Benny. Hey, Beanie. Who farted? <laughs> <laughs> Beanie. I, I, I liked when it was him and his uh, roommate were having the fight to where there were squirrels, and yeah. he was pretending to murder these invisible squirrels yeah. where he had the gun, the bazooka, and throwing a grenade. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a breakthrough, connected on Yeah, and he helped him go to the, the bathroom. Human, yeah. That was great. Hunter good Adams. Movie. Everybody hated him for fucking being so good at connecting with people. Well, he's a real person. That guy, uh, Patch Adams, was a real person, still is. And um, he still helps out with uh, health care and everything. So he was still working on that. Good shit. He didn't like a lot of how it was happening with the movie certain little touching things and all that with how they I never wore it. that fucking nose. Yeah. I never wore that fucking nose. I don't know if it was like that. I, I This is all like not from the horse's mouth. I don't know the guy. I'm just saying. This is all just my... From what I read about like dirt sheets on there and you know everything on the internet's bullshit anyways until you know you find the autopsy report so... Yeah. Dirty deeds. Done, Done dirt, dirt sheets. sheets. Bon Scott not Brian Johnson whatever folks. <clears throat> Oof. 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 Okay, so shout out to my buddy Harry Woo. because DJ Munchie. So we were at, <laughs> no, we were at, he was at his workplace, you know, doing his gig on uh, last Friday night. And since somebody came up and said, you know, I want you to play a song. And there he's like, all right, what you got? And it was Leonard Skinner. It wasn't Freebird or Sweet Home Alabama, but it was uh, give, give Me Three Steps. And then he comes back like half of an hour later. And then he's like, I want you to play Leonard Skinner, um, That oh. Smell. Ooh, That yeah, yeah, yeah. Smell. And then he goes, proceeds to say as he's walking away, because Leonard Skinner's the best damn band in the world. And I say it <laughs> uh, out loud to where only me and Harry can hear my buddy. And I was like, yeah, yeah Ronnie Van Zant. Now what the fuck they got now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that was a plane crash like Castaway too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right oh man <clears throat> oh, oh man so what did you the, think about while you were keith, taking a whiz what did the, you take a whiz no he was no. getting a beer hey keith What's do that? you ever write in your notes anymore yeah what do you got 
Is that where you're on? Yeah, I'm trying to. Topic, we try to topic, write topic, notes, topic, you know, topic. topics to fuck up, talk about. Hey, what's your favorite curse word? Hey, real quick, let's do a snapshot for the thumbnail. Ready? Set. Nice. <laughs> I like do it makes it a little bit easier on me. When well, we, when you're making the episode, you look at the little still frame and then oh, that's it, yeah. Because yeah. like even on YouTube, it's that's just, how they fucking. Yeah. And I try to do that. I didn't do uh, it on last episode, but I try to do it. That's fine. I do, I, I'm wearing I the do. same shirt, so either we did a two for like Family Feud or. Uh, well, it's gonna come out. One's gonna come out this next week, and then that's one's fine. the next week. But uh, it'll be. I'll put part two. You know, it's, it's whatever from you're this, gonna do. It's from the same night, man. We yeah. just did a double up. And we appreciate having you do it. Right. That's fine. <laughs> because we're... Uh, Content. I, mean, it's always, I get it. It's always yeah. nice double to double shift for us. And yeah, you know, I like night that. shift. That's <laughs> what I do. I'm a third shift type of person. <laughs> yeah. I've been that for years. My ideal mate would work like, you know, night, second into third shift hours because, you know, your 3 p.m. is my 3 a.m. So, magic hour. One pound fish. I like being awake when I smoke a bowl at 420. Uh, Gotta be awake at 420 to smoke the other bowl, too. (laughs) They were talking shit about that on on, uh, Tom Segura's podcast. You like Tom Segura? I I like Tom Segura a little bit. I know he runs the Laugh uh, Factory now, because I watched the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Tom Segura, because he had the Laugh Factory... Ever since Mitzi died, he's been running the booking and everything there now. I did not know that. Yeah, no. I watched a thing on the Laugh Factory. It had Leno, it had Letterman, and had Tim Allen. Did you watch the Comedy Store documentary? That's what it was. Comedy Store, not the... Sorry. Wrong fucking... Dude, I went to the comedy store on my California vacation. Oh shit! Yeah, I swear to God. So they all they all have awesome. like the pictures like on the walls where they had all the comedians that have played. But there. it was during COVID, so it was like fucking, I don't care if I wear a fucking mask. That we place, weren't, yeah, we weren't allowed to go actually inside. We yeah. had, we chilled like in the back parking lot. They yeah. had tables set up and shit. Oh cool! But there wasn't really comedians. So going. you didn't go all three rooms. No, no. no. Oh okay. Yeah. Because there's the belly was, room. Well, it was closed down. No one, one was really doing stand up. See, when no it one was. Out, a, yeah. They just had it open for like food, like food basically. And and shit. Yeah. They said they were gonna have a co- comedian later up in the window of right. the comedy store, facing out outside. Yeah. But which is super weird. But we didn't stay for that because oh, yeah. it was really expensive, man. We just got like a couple of drinks and some fucking chicken strips. Right. And, and it was like a hundred bucks. Well, that's that's <laughs> yeah. how we always treated going to a concert and shit like that. You just yeah, hit Mickey yeah. D's up first, and then you got your pregame in the car or whatever. So yeah, for sure. For sure. But it was definitely, I wanted to go there. That was one of the things I really wanted to do on that vacation slash memorial for my dad. Mm-hmm. Just if you haven't watched, go check out the YouTube the page and get on that, right uh, that vacation there. vlog. Right there, folks. I'll post the, uh, what's it called, the playlist for all the vlog right there. Right. Boop. Starting at the first one to the fourth i'm working on the fifth now yeah i visit my childhood home these guys just seen it yeah so far it's it. a good watch it's not done yet no but working on it much like anything it's subject to change and in progress <laughs> totally All right. but anyways what else what else what else uh, what else i got a thing because i was i was trying a bunch of, like a different stuff but like i was stuff but Cause like butt I got, stuff. I got. I was trying butt, butt stuff, stuff pizza. Uh, <laughs> oh, butt stuff pizza. Yeah, that's my favorite kind. Mozzarella <laughs> stuffed butts. Oh, but uh, stuff. you know, okay. I can eat chips again. So I'm like trying a bunch of like the different chips. He's got all new teethers. Yeah. Oh, dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have Joker teeth. That's so great. Clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Is it like Pac Man? You're just taking full like. So, so what chips did you try that you're like over? Like, I want, I want to hear your uh, thoughts because I'm a fat guy. I want to know. It was like. Because your taste buds just I'm, like I've always been there. Right. But now like I'm just... going through and I'm like, but like everything now has like yeah. a flaming hot version. Yeah, yeah. I'm not over for that, but yeah. But then I'm also trying like. 
because I haven't been able to eat like a whole lot of cereals and shit. So yeah. I'm also going, and I was like, why is there not like a flaming God, hot Cheerios? A oh, flaming right. hot cereals. Flaming, <laughs> oh, flaming I mean, hot Cheerios. Just throw Cheerios. a little bit of Texas Peak fucking, hot sauce in that motherfucker. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be, nobody's done that. Like a fucking spicy ass cereal. No, fuck <laughs> that, dude. Don't go, don't go back on the wheel to That's where you're doing cinnamon you challenge. That's old not shit. what you want you don't do for old breakfast, used, is no. it? No. You know, flaming hot diarrhea. You know what's fucking fire, <laughs> dude? All right, check this out. If you get a bowl of cereal, whatever flavor, mm-hmm. you know, whatever kind of cereal you want, but you get like a cup full of that creamer, dude, like yeah. French vanilla, and pour yeah, that yeah, in there, yeah, yeah. it kicks up the cereal so hard. If it, it kicks it up super hard. So wait, hold up. What are we doing now? You the, just the, pour- when you go to like Walmart or any of those little supermarket doesn't matter have to be that one or windex here wherever your location is at where you're watching in the world you go to the refrigerated section the dairy creamers like the, yeah. to where they have the gimmicked one whether it's vanilla or yeah, Reese peanut butter cup he's saying use that and in there as well as, as a little bit as, of milk as, yeah, yeah. Milk. cut half With and it. half so it increases the you know sugar those content. Little creamer cups, just it, like a creamer yeah, cup. Yeah, like just pour one of those in there with your cereal. Just and oh, mix it around. Okay. You could either do that or just like pour out a little bit of like on a tablespoon or however you're going to measure it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. your body. I'm not your doctor. Right, bro. right. I know okay. what you're talking about. Like the big. Yeah, jug, that's jug what I was it. saying. You were saying little individuals. Is that like a thing that you well, did? Yeah, yeah. The like single servings. Either yeah, way, yeah. either way. You can do either or because they sell the little individuals at like. But you don't need a lot, dude. It's just. Just, just so a nice little Is that little like a thing that you guys usually? I, do? I don't. I've never done it, but like I'm a person that's had fried jelly sandwich. So. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. You know how you do that? You Let's butter go. two sides of bread, and then you put like a tablespoon of your favorite jelly, like strawberry or grape or whatever. Grape, they, dude. I'm well, all grape. I, there you, you go. Tell me what. Wait, wait. I'm great. Grape, grape or strawberry like concord like true grape to where it's yeah. like that because you'll recognize a different thing i'm not a wine person but, but i'm a preserves and jelly guy yeah. but yeah okay. bernard when i was living with bernard he did get me trying like different yeah. jellies because i had all i knew was grape <laughs> he and got strawberry yeah. brand new jellies but right. there was like yeah yeah you're good sorry, sorry so after you pinch the sides and everything after it's buttered on both on the outside you already have your jelly you pinched it you cook it like a grilled cheese, so it's like a lava cake when you eat it. Oh, it's man. so fire because if you get the right bread to where it like works with that sweetness, you know, yeah. because like the butter's already going to increase the salt. Yeah, little nuances Ooh. like that. That's baking, gentlemen. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, to the next level, folks. <laughs> but yeah, but like Bernard got me trying like he was like apricot jelly that yeah. was pretty good he was apricot. Like peach, peach I've jelly. you ever tried cherry jelly no kroger sells a that. cherry jelly that's pretty decent kaboom oh you know what that means i know what that means it, yeah, did get it, your <laughs> scorecards out did it, did it, it did yeah, yeah. We're, we're back on but yeah you're right get that's, your scorecards that's that's this many thus far we got a new a new one. And I know the the audio's never done <laughs> That's that. That's what I'm gonna do that from now on. We're gonna have like a little like pee wee scoreboard thing. I can't promise electronic. I was thinking about but making, we'll get like a little flip over card thing. I was thinking about like a merch idea to make like a scorecard for like yeah. but we needed more than just sirens. Yeah, something like, more than a chalkboard or dry erase. Do like a bingo card or something. Right. Like I got Come I got on, ladies, come on, ladies. One pound on fish. Come on, lettuce, come on, lettuce. Mm. He, he sounded like he said lettuce. <laughs> hey there, lettuce, eat some lettuce. How about if you're a fish? I need to wash my bacon nuts. and tomatoes. It smells just lettuce. like my butt crack. It's <laughs> getting kind of I got of something greasy. I want to ask you if you've seen the publicity stills or read up about it yet. What? Sebastian Stan, a.k.a. Winter Soldier from the Marvel fame, he's going to do the miniseries episodic thing about Tommy and Pam back in the 90s. And Seth Rogen is going to be... The, yeah, it's Point Grey is going to be the production company for this, so he's already written it, and I've seen some of the things. I didn't know if you caught that or not. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't, know, I, I don't, I don't get into the, the comic book shit. No, it's I not like the comic, comic books, book. but I'm not like a big Marvel f- no, I movie know. fan. The last no, just that person. I didn't know if you recognized him. Which like, guy? I know who you're talking Stan. about. Yeah, though. yeah, that guy. He's going to be Tommy Lee in 
this Tam, Pam and Tommy. Oh, he's yeah. going to be Tommy Lee? Yeah. I don't oh, see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Their story? Yeah, from the 90s and everything When like they made that. their fucking Yeah, video when he was like shit. married to her up until like the... Or it was like 01 or 02 something when they divorced. Was yeah. it that long? I thought it was before. I it was the mid 90s. It was right after he left Locklear and then he married her. Heather yeah. Lockbeer. Right. It's funny. We used to do this thing. There was a there was a time when Bud Bud Light had these bottles where you can. There's a spot where you can write on it, you know, yeah. with marker. Yeah. And we used to play this game every time we would get a case of those, mm. where you have to fucking come up with a pun for yeah. every beer you drink like a, oh, a celebrity shit. and shit yeah. so heather lock beer was one of them oh. another one would be like brew carry right or fucking <laughs> damn dude <laughs> that w- can you think of any it could be anything that has to do with beer like dennis hop hopkin wait what's his name <laughs> dennis hopper yeah <laughs> uh Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I don't know. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> that sounds like a venereal disease infection, man. Eastwood. He couldn't make it as a baker. Couldn't make it as a gynecologist, obviously. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and I like Clint. Like, he's like the old grandpa that just won't shut the fuck up. You feeling lucky, punk? Did you see uh, Gran Torino? Of course. <laughs> With the little Asian kids. I'm it? just saying. And then, like, right after that, a few years later, he was arguing with an empty chair on a stage about how he misses things back when and this and that. Like, he was what? talking to some- Yeah. It was right around the time that uh, the re-election in 12, so where it was either Obama or um, Mitt Romney. Yeah. So everybody paid, or was this like a... It was on television. And he's just arguing? I didn't. He was just arguing with a chair? He was... Like, the nicest way I can say this without saying he was bitching, he was complaining about his grievances. Don't you know podcast and etiquette? And I got it on silent. You don't, because I heard that ding in my fucking <laughs> that's, ears. That's dude. what's confusing me. Because it's obviously not working. Your like, shit ain't working. Like, I saw, I saw on silent. I can't go Maybe you should lower. turn it off. Hey, can we point Disrespectful? out? Disrespectful, because if this was dinner, you're paying. Oh, you know what we forgot to point out, dude? Is that How you... short you are in that chair. <laughs> I know, I told you. <laughs> you lost a good foot, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry no. Oh, yeah. I'm I brought it back around, folks. Look at me. <laughs> I'm Willow over here. Oh, my God. You're about Benjamin Button tall now. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Frodo Baggins. That's on my list, dude. Is it on one of them? That Benjamin be. Button. Yeah, I didn't even ask him that shit. That wasn't pre planned. That was just cold. arranged. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll show it to you, dude. Oh, Brad Pitt. Really rigor mortis ugly. <laughs> Okay, that movie. You know what? That movie's. I don't know. It kind of took me out of it. The CGI. It's, it's the good. The CGI once, yeah. is weird. I guess in the time it might have been good. You know, where what he's I mean? all like in the mirror, like right. He's a little fucking old ass motherfucker. What do you? What do you need? The red thing. The red thing. The, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, yeah. See, I've watched like most of it. I never watched the full thing. But like it's I, weird. I mean, I guess it was a good movie, like yeah. overall. But like that shit, kind of was weird to look at. You know, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> with the old face yeah. and fucking, it just looked super fake. Right. Going back and looking at it now. Did you, Did you guys ever watch? It's the same thing with Forrest Gump because like all the Kennedy footage and shit. You <laughs> oh can see God. like how the mouth is moving <laughs> I, and shit. I, I, I lose it every time. <laughs> Shows his ass to LBJ. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Where'd you get shot? I got shot right in the buttocks. I'd like to see talks. that someday. God damn, son. <laughs> he walks out after 15 times. Well, you can't save my ass right oh, now. Oh, my God. He met Kennedy. He met Nixon. Something met, jumped up yeah. and bit me. <laughs> right in the butt top. Just run. Run as fast as you can. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't do much else because he was, you know... Learning disabled and such. And that's not me critiquing that. But, like, how did he get into school? 
is mother fuck the principal. Sally Field took that team, and all I hear in my head is, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my God, dude. She, she really loved that boy. She took it like a champ. Oh. oh. Your mother Wait sure does care about your education. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Did I get to my point? I wanted to point out that you came here, you knew it was Sector 7G, and you brought a crusty shirt. Yeah. You brought a crusty old shirt. Yep. <laughs> and this and little you, watch. And you brought this watch. Yeah, yeah. I wanted so awesome. to I wanted to show this off. Let's, this, let's zoom in on that, folks. This fucking takes me back fucking to this childhood. Fucking a trip. Well, well, I was telling uh, Keith Back when fucking over here, Happy Meals were awesome. While you were um, BK had the best away toys. taking yeah, your it's, pee-pee it's break It's got the BK logo breaks, on it. You know? And I was uh, telling him, I was like, I don't have too much... For the Simpsons, but I got a few more things. That I, I love just, the Simpsons. I got Futurama right. stuff. That I oh, I love Futurama. Right, too. and I got. I told him I got the Planet Express He's Starship. Got Planet Express. Yeah. Do you got? Uh, I do. It was you, a little loot crate thing that I had gotten. You say my, you're not a big fan of it? Oh no, I love Futurama more than anything, really. All right, have you? Uh, I've got two shirts: the Planet Express ship, the whole uh, disc. All of them from first to the movies, all that. I was going to ask, do you get all the movies? Yeah, I got them all. And I got a streaming site that don't charge me nothing and everything like that to where if both of those fail, I got a backup for backups. So have, you, have you checked out uh, Disenchantment? I haven't watched all of them. I watched a couple. Um, I didn't... It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Not as best I get it's, it. it's okay. It's everybody but Leela. On the voice actors and actresses from yeah, the show. Yeah, I love fucking John DiMaggio. Re, right. No, he's money. I, I, I got a funny side Adventure story. Adventure time, bro? No, no. He's mm-hmm, fucking right. hilarious. So I'm on a Futurama ch- fan chat room in uh, Facebook land, okay? And somebody shared on the thing a picture of himself and John DiMaggio because John DiMaggio had came and walked through a dispensary where he had worked at in Colorado and Denver. And the guy got a picture with him and John was super personal or like that. I was like, Oh fucking a, you met the metal Lord <laughs> because am I taller now? You're yeah. I mean, now you're, now you're more of a credible I mean, threat. You're, you're still taller I mean, than me. I know, but like now I would have like tried to rob you if you were that, that chair, short. <laughs> that chair gets the highest though. It's pretty a high. Lot, I'm not smokes gonna lie. A lot of weed. It's got a problem. <laughs> the high chair. We t- we try to give it a like a re- like a fucking what do you call that a fucking an intervention like an a barber chair yeah. a little a little pump it gonna... action to get it up and elevated. Yeah. We try to give it a here's bar a mitzvah. question. Shoot, what's the ideal age to die? <laughs> what's the ideal age to die? When would you like to die? Uh, I'd like to die before I like lose my shit and piss in my pants before I like don't make it to the bathroom. <laughs> I know that's the degree. Like I, I'll take are the heavy way out. Um, are we going any answer or realistic? Like a number or like? Yeah, a number. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, yeah. I'm number. gonna say sixty or sixty-five because my grandfather, my that's dad's pretty dad. Pretty young though. A little bit. You're right, but my grandfather was like a hard drinking, hard smoking man that worked on the farm his whole life. So ideal. Yeah, my dad I- made it to fifty-nine, so I, I want to make it past my dad. There ain't too many on his 59? side of the family. Fifty-nine. That's young. It was like fifty-eight and change. Yeah. Oh man. He didn't make it to fifty-nine. Yeah. I, my what is your answer? Ideal, like. Or, like, we going, like, realistic, like... Is it bad that I don't even know how old my dad was? Jesus. I'm terrible at That's fine. Things. I don't know how old I my mean, grandparents are or anything like that. I mean, that. we weren't super close. Right. I'll say that. Well, I mean... <laughs> I'm whispering Not into everybody's the microphone gonna be that's going to be out on the internet. Don't tell anybody. It's all right. Yeah. But <laughs> where, where were you going, Keith? Do you know? So, okay, so ideally, it'd be pretty old. I mean, like... I'd like to I make mean, it to like close to. Like are you life trying to go much? to like you get like retirement age at a job? I old mean, or like no? Be I'm that's why I was real, asking. I like, yeah, because if that's we're like going 65, realistically, 68 and shit. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Are we going realistically? Yeah, realistically, I, I'd say around. I don't know, seventies, early seventies, eighties. No, that's too long. Okay, just just go with me. How old do you think Bob well, Barker is? Bob Barker's like is he 90. Still alive? He's still alive. He's in his 90s. Are you sure about that? Yes. <laughs> Google that if you don't believe me. Boomer, goddammit. I mean, because I'd want to live but, yeah. like close 
maybe to a hundred. Like I don't want to be so decrepit where I'm you like, I like. I I don't want to be no. so like if, I don't want to be as old as Stan Lee was. I don't want to be as old as Christopher Lee was caveat, in their nineties, almost a century old. No, as I don't. long as it's not like like there's I hate I hate this. Like this, if I could be yeah. like a pretty active, healthy. Active yeah, but I mean even there's a. The, uh, there's a Tom Segura bit where he's talking about this. He was like, he's like, aren't you guys ever tired of uh, just living? Yeah. <laughs> like, how many fucking days are there? You know what I mean? Can't we wrap this shit up? <laughs> I've done the things. And I feel that. I like. that you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. To a to an extent. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah. I like yeah. living, but I, you know, it's like it's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> George Carlin was one of my favorites. I Still love is. Carlin. And Life is worth losing is one he of my favorite the, bits. He was the best. And he was talking on there about um, suicide and one of the extreme human behaviors. <laughs> the whole thing was like, okay, well, I can't, you know, put my head in the oven because it's fucking electric. Amtrak ain't came around here in thirty <laughs> goddamn years. You know, these razor blades got all this fucking goddamn cellophane and he, he can't make it work so it ends up like all right i'm gonna get some rope and hang myself and then i'm just gonna charge to my credit card and walmart's paying for it and then he goes to the note and then oh it just goes on from there but right i i loved he was great he was great because he was straight to the point and, and real he, with you he made you think you know what i mean right he, he we don't like, have too much of that anymore in society he was not like super haha funny but the things yeah. he no. said you would it would set your brain off you guys, dude. you're like you guys yeah. remember his 10 commandments mm-hmm. joke down to like what was it four yeah five? like yeah. four basic commandments <laughs> or something yeah. that was a good one dude yeah i mean i forget what I, it was it was like don't kill don't him, fucking it was crazy because I never steal. watched him on HBO until later in my life. Don't kill. Yeah, I like. Don't I remember kill, watching. Rape. Speaking of fucking dogma, I think we mentioned dogma on this yeah. one or the last one. Yeah, I think it was the yeah, last yeah, it was one. the last one with Rickman, the tattoo I want to get. Yeah. Right, right, right. He was in that as the cardinal. Yeah. 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 What did he say? Uh. Nobody but God Himself. All right, <laughs> Buddy Jesus. Yeah, I I love Buddy Jesus because my buddy. <laughs> it's uh, a good concept. It is. It really is because it's not sad and depressing. Because what is religion? It's marketable. Are you religious? Can I? Ask um, that? you don't have to answer. No, that. I will. I don't care. I I am religious to the point where something above me claimed and created all this i believe in evolution i believe that we are all here at some point i just don't believe in the whole judeo christian jesus christ yeah, thing yeah, yeah. i'm not over for it you can't logistically prove it to me uh, no so- one else will no one else in recorded history about knew about noah's flood but you know at the same time there's sumerians the chinese yeah. and all these it's dynasty people all these major no, culture yeah it's because it's marketable story. it fake and makes money <laughs> Churches aren't gonna pay taxes. I know that's crazy. and that would that's change the, the shit. god that's dang the crazy. game. I fucking hate television. And this is a political. Dude. This ain't a shot at the church and Catholicism have or any of that. No. Have you seen Righteous Gemstones? Uh. Uh-uh. It's about like an evangelical family and shit. It's got John Goodman and Adam Divine, uh, Danny McBride and shit. Okay. But it, I, that's I, Jesus did another. Did me. you ever see Red State with Goodman? <laughs> I, love, yeah. I, just I, I watched that. That shit was fucking <laughs> great because I there couldn't. are those type of people out there, and we live in Indiana. And we have those type of people out here for sure. And then that's the fucking scariest part about everything is that dude. I couldn't find that movie you know. anywhere on streaming. I had to go and buy it from Dis Replay, actual physical right. DVD. Right, it, it wasn't right. It's streamed. no, it's not out there. Like it's just not like out um, there. Anarchist Cookbook. You have to actually oh, go yeah, out there and look I for remember that, that, one. that movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the actual Anarchist Cookbook. That one you got to know a guy, but the other one, the DVD, you got to actually go out and look for because like, the, the movie is different than the actual book. And I'm not going to tell you to Google that because you'll like get monitored the by the feds. But like we're, the, the summation for the Anarchist Cookbook is it has a cook. It's a book that has. A it's recipe for different things to where you can make it. small explosives, tennis ball bombs, or whatever, no, or dude, drugs like, and everything else. No, it, it has that too. Yeah. It would show you how to like, 
like cut out like hidey holes and mm-hmm. like you can rig up your house to if like if you knew a guy that you could make your own shit. LSD if you I'll met get somebody like scientist hole. it had right. Hide- Remember? Dude, Heidi's right. hole? Heidi. Heidi from Tool Time so, yeah. who would you take so, Heidi or Pam Anderson Heidi 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 yeah Heidi. <laughs> I mean I like Pam I mean yeah. I do too I mean but like her reputation precedes her, you know. Oh, you were you were last episode about separating the artist from the art, so don't go there. Don't even fucking go there. You're you're a hypocrite based on that. I've seen her in Tommy Lee's video. And I and I and my friend my friend Eli's brother Isaac owned a copy of the Methods of Mayhem album because that had a DVD on there if you put it into your disc player. That would show the video of them on vacation because that was all on the With first the yacht and everything. Yep. Yeah. Where he had like a fucking like twelve inch Pringles can to his fucking legs. It. Bro, that was my only thing about <laughs> when I watched the trailer for the Pam and Tommy the Hulu thing. I was like, dude, it's gonna have to stuff so fucking hard. I'm not a gazer, but I mean that's some big fucking shoes to fill. That that thing was a monster. Like man. Monster magnet. Monster hog. That's a boss hog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Put a goddamn hat on that thing. 10 yeah. gallon? Fuck that 20 gallon. Jesus. Holy fuck. Holy you want to get into some of these talks? What we got left? What, what do you we got, got left? The leftovers from the last episode. That's not it's what the I scrapings. We got, <laughs> yeah, we got it's TikTok the whole little leftovers. Bit of, like, burnt ends. <laughs> this is the TikTok leftover okay. segment. <laughs> Everybody likes day old donuts, especially from Longs. It's cool, folks. Just stick them in the microwave for a couple seconds. It'd About be good. fifteen max, yeah. straight up. Don't eat anything it. longer; it'll cook the carbon out of it. It's gonna That's be science. liquid lava right there. If you do anything That's like. science. That's scientific, right there. It is scientifical, bro. That's scientifical. I ain't even Christian, right there. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll go back Devil's to the religion thing. While you're donut? pulling this up, I'll, I'll I don't say think this. so. No, I had a girlfriend. Her dad w- had lost his faith and at one point was like how Jesus is an alien. And then when his wife was around him and us and everybody, she agreed with him. But when her mom went with her husband somewhere else that was around her family, Oh, praise is his name. Jesus. Like the Southern whole little, whatever, where right. the congregation and they're all jumping up and down the aisles and shit. Yeah. So now nah. if you got to believe in something, believe in yourself. I know. Only you were we, gonna push me through that. I know we touched on that religious topic, and I was yeah. Like, I just wanted I didn't to even that. say it. Like, no, you're good. I I'm just not to... religious at all. I'm pretty atheist. You, I am yeah. pretty atheist to an extent, Nothing. but like Nothing. I like. Well, I, think I like it's the just concept like big, of Thor and the Norse Norolo- You know, mythology. I think we're just basically like. Is it agnostic? Cells, you know, or? cells. You, we go to a microscopic level. Yeah. Those things. Yeah. That that's happening. We're just at our level, but there's a bigger right. thing happening. There's right. way bigger things happening. Right. I've always assumed like, but why? we're just in our spot and well, we're right. doing our thing. Why can't science and religion? I believe be, in science. But be intertwined, like. But they've been proven to where, like, even math's a like communication device between certain things. When they were developing NASA, the, like a lot of the coding and everything yeah. was math and shit. So. That's where they. That's where they. Yeah, mathematical grammar and all that. You know, perpendicular. No, I like. I like. So, like, okay, I want to me. It's fiction. Like, I'll just be blunt. To me, it is fiction. Uh, the Bible and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it to me because I can't do anything more than that. I mean, sure, there's like values in there, but it's like. Oh, no, it's a feel good story in certain parts. Certain parts, yeah. But it jumps. The other parts are fucking brutal. It was printed 1,200 years after he supposedly was after birth to death. Like, there's too many. Edited. 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 um, Apparently, okay, so there's unicorns in the Bible. But apparently that is a mistranslation. <laughs> they didn't make it onto the ark, bro. How did the dodo bird not make it to the Bible? <laughs> I'm just saying. But apparently it's a that mistranslation. That was a mystical fucking thing, I too. I can't remember what it was actually supposed to be when they went back and they were like, oh, that's not unicorn. That's um, right. It was another thing that made more sense. but Narwhal. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I heard your dinging again. I heard, you, I heard your dinger. 
How in the fuck? One it's, more time, dude. That, that, I just I showed swear. you. It was. It's on silent. And it's you on didn't vibrate. Turn it off, obviously. Slap. Dinger. Off. Off. Your dinger's going <laughs> off. You know, uh, can't control my dinger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a thing on Facebook. It's um, <laughs> movie quotes to where they'll post a little <laughs> thing about the dinger. different <laughs> movies, and they'll have a little snippet of the scene and well they'll post it on there and everything so they had blank man you ever seen blank man yes damon wayans david allen greer it was the Major part Payne. where he yeah my yeah, suits was, yeah he's like only my suits bulletproof yeah and so he <laughs> i need to watch he that was, one i don't know oh I don't you gotta it. watch that and he was all oh, slap me around and call me susan i warned you susan oh <laughs> I watched Pootie, oh, I watched Pooty Tang recently. I love Pooty Tang. You're probably the fourth person that's probably seen that fucking thing, man. Yeah. Recently, like, did you know I that that was a Louis? That's C. K.? Louis C.K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I watched. It, it was one of his earlier things. Yeah, it's fucking I crazy, right? What do you? Th- that's another one. Separate the guy from the fucking. See, I like Louis. I got nothing against him. I just thought it was funny when, like, when Dave Chappelle. Off. Yeah, and, and with your dick out in another room with people, like, come on, man. The but fuck? he asked. It's not first. that big a deal, de- really. I mean, <laughs> that okay, bad. like At we're least, in a podcast. I'm doing this bad. for free. I just pull out my dick while I'm talking to you, and I make contact, and I make it we like. That's my well, point. Not, but okay. So he the way I contact, heard it. Did he? The way I heard that's it, that's not is, what he did. But is, I, I'm over exaggerating it to make my point. Is more he would right. just ask. Right. He was like, yeah. "Hey, if I were to do this, would you be okay with it?" And then they would either I, say yes or no. I heard Dave Chappelle say that he actually had his dick out and was just pretty, like that on the oh, story one of the okay. stand up on Netflix. You know what? I he put you know out, Frank the Tank. He put out a new special. Um, after that, yeah. and I bought it, and it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah no, I like Louis C.K. He's I just so fucking that funny. Was, yeah. Like, I, mean, I wouldn't not party good, with him, but I'd go to a thing show. To, it's not There's a good thing that, to yeah. do. I'll admit, like, like, it's not a good thing to do. It's not a good look. but It's not a good sight <laughs> at all. <laughs> I know, his freckled ass dick just... <laughs> he's he's like straight pasty ginger. Fire man. pubes. Soulish, uh, mayonnaise colored. Oof. You're about to start a fire, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> That's fun. Lord. Anyways, tic tacs. Are we going to tic tacs? We're gonna tic tac it up and mm. schmick schmack it up. Schmeckle. Schmick schmack my tic tac tic tac. Give me a schmeckle of honey. Just a schmeckle of honey. All right, here's my first one. I'm going first this time because Keith's. Wait, who won the last one? Did you think Keith won? Do you I think remember? That Keith won the last one because y- your whole masturbation thing failed, so he won that ra- that round. You won the second <laughs> one, and then he won third. All right, here we go. Number one. Mom, what you doing? Washing my motherfucking things. Why? <laughs> this nigga, I don't got no water at home. I pay my motherfucking DC taxes like everybody the fuck else. Fuck you, man. Uh, you so she's literally house. washing you herself in a public pool. But it's... Bitch, I'm washing my ass. I'm washing my ass. I'm washing my ass. I'm washing my ass. I'm washing and it's a public pool. pool. Catch right? that. She talking? I ain't talking Ma, about you cannot do that. Okay, oh, hold on. Bitch, don't get me out then. You don't get me out. Get out. Bitch, ball. You in the ball. Big ball. You in the ball. You in the ball. Ma, you can't do this. You in the ball. Fuck Rodney. I thought you were supposed to take showers before you do This is illegal. I love how she's lathering up. Zero fucks. None. Ma, it's Georgia here. Ma, it's Georgia Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so a couple of things. Okay. Yeah, we gotta explain got explain for anybody on. who's just listening. There's gotta be subtext, so go back. All it's right. a public pool, so right. there's a shower before you You're get to, to the pool. You're supposed to. This was all pre COVID rules when you take the shower before you get in the pool. <laughs> right. You would go to right. the locker room or whatever right. before you even get you would go through the locker room to get to the pool where they have showers for then, free. Right. You just press a little thing, boom. She's like, I pay my taxes, whatever kind of taxes <laughs> yeah, she said. That's, but... <laughs> that's her logic, though. I mean, dude, her but... daughter or whatever sounded like her daughter sounded yeah. so embarrassed. She's dude. like, Mom, this is <laughs> you legal. Can't do this. But there's also chlorine and other chemicals that she just like yeah, rubbing but... in. 
Besides drawing at your skin like no other, how many people pee in the pool? Seven. Have you ever peed in a pool? I've totally I peed have, in that pool. But I have try not to. Oh, I have as well. So there's three Everybody's people. peed Dude, in the pool. I exactly. try hard not to, but I have done it, I'll admit. I'm not walking. Everybody's peed in I really a don't, feet dude. To like, I, I'm respectful. I'm that a pretty sounds respectful terrible, dude. But, I mean, I paid $11 to get in this right. place. And <laughs> I want, you want my me to pay, worth. like, $2 for a bottle of Coke or whatever. And. <laughs> I want my money's worth. I'm gonna piss in this. That's so like, gross. I, don't wanna get I mean, out. if you're drinking the water, that's fucking gross. I'm not drinking that. Dude, that always uh. sucks. If you go and oh. then it's like you get it in your mouth and you're like, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just die. I'll drown. <laughs> Fuck all that. Right. Yeah. You gotta like, you gotta like talk yourself out of throwing up. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next lady, fighter. Lady washes herself in the pool, and what or, do you got? Or, or, or man, oh dang! Man, oh dang! I'll tell you what. My name is Lily Patterson. Going to text a name. Get your marriage. What are you going to do? Difference between old dang. She gonna go load up them dynamite and old can like okay. that. You go to boom, man. That old Pause. paper cow fly it all over. Yeah, my name is Max. <laughs> Some backstory, not about the live action, but chronologically, <laughs> King of the Hill, Boomhauer's from Louisiana. But go on, that's it. Boomer Center, baby. Hey, man, that's a dang old good old deal, man. I tell you what, a hundred bucks a month, man. Get them hook up, get them old dang two two top jigging around everywhere and whatnot, man. It did nothing but a dang. But on the first one, like okay, so on the first one, what's it sound like she's saying to you guys? All right, we'll listen really good on the. We'll play it again, but we're just gonna listen. Try not to interrupt it. What's it sound like she's saying on this first one? My name is Lily Passion. Going to text that name? Get your marriage. Get your marriage. Yeah! yeah! That's the only thing I heard. Yeah. 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 Get married. I'm going to Oklahoma. She goes to load up some dynamite and old can like that. They go to boom, man. They old cap cow fly it all over. Hi, my name is Macy Jury. I'm going to OU. Boomer Center, baby. Hey, man, that's a dang old good old deal, man. See, I tell I you what, a hundred bucks a month, man. Get them hookups, get them old dang two, uh, two top jiggling Center. around everywhere and whatnot, man. Yeah, nothing that but that dang old bad. trash, man. Yeah. All right. King of the Hill. Mine was funnier. <laughs> <laughs> King of the Hill. I'm, I'm biased. I don't care. Don't ask me my opinion and then get upset. Okay, that's the only it. reason I thought, because bo- I fucking love Boomhound, man. I mean. He's great. That's fine. You got any Futurama ones? Zero future on oh, What a fresh hell is this? Oh. I got some cringy ones. Cringy. Like the kind they play on. Like you guys want to see a dead body or what? Like the kind they play, like Christine will play on YMH. Okay, uh, let's go. Get ready. How do I breathe? It's by the grace of God. He gives me the oxygen to breathe in <laughs> and. <laughs> To breathe out. Hey, man. The ox again. <laughs> Bro, you're about to be tricked. It's that bad. Oh, my God. How do I breathe? It's by the grace of God. He gives me the ox again to breathe in. And Lord. To breathe out. Hey, man. Because there's a lot of nasal when he's talking. If you don't hear that, it's all... <laughs> because like I, I do that too but I have to like wind myself down Oxygen. Oxygen. good lord <laughs> you're about 15,000 calories away from that heart attack man Jesus fuck <laughs> what else you got Ox oh Grace of God. No, the devil just hasn't come in to cash that coat check in ticket, bro. Oh, fuck. It's Keith Stern. Like it, he, you still got any? I don't even know. Oh, no. Keith. Oh, Keith no. Stone. Smooth. He might have been oh, out by now. I think, I got, I think I'm done on that. Are you oh. out, you're out of things? I think I'm out of thing. Well, I, I guess got no you more win. thing left. He's got no more ammo. Winner chicken dinner, Kevin Hill. You got more thing. Where, what? I'm sweating. Where at? I'm a book rack and <laughs> balls and everywhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a balls right. everywhere. He's got that southern hit accent, bro. Listen to him again. Yeah. He's used 
Wait, what? I'm sweating. Where at? On my butt crack and my balls and everywhere. <laughs> Jesus. Right. <laughs> your butt crack and your balls. He's All out day, there in day. the swamp, Louisiana. Oh, yes, sir. All right, one more cringy. One more cringe. One more. Ow. Shit. Oof. Ugh. Hey, Vonnie, this is Scott Russell's friend. I can't wait to meet you. What? Oh, <laughs> shit. So, he was trying oh, to leave a Is he, like, in his backyard right now? <laughs> or hers. We don't know where he was, to be honest. We don't know the backstory. Was, I think he was in that guy's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get a hold of some chick. Go back and get him. He t- wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so it's this guy trumping through the fucking like like backyards, sh- right? Yeah, yeah, leaves his shit, and he's like, "I can't wait to." Be- <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Bro. Give me five minutes. I'll be right there. It's creepy. I don't know what's going on. I mean, ow. <laughs> He looks like a rhino. Uh, hey, Vonnie, this is Scott Russell's friend. Russell's friend. I can't friend. wait to meet you. Scott, you better fucking run. Right. Jesus. <laughs> you better change your address real quick. That's the weirdest video. And that's the thing that they always bring up on YMH is that he posted this to right. a public fucking YouTube. The like, right. This is like a personal message. Right. But he posted it to YouTube, which is public, which makes it funny. Yeah, it makes it because you can now do whatever the fuck you want. You can he put, thinks he's talking you can put to Mickey a specific Mouse ears person, on there but everybody's or yeah. watching. Why is he? It. What the fuck? Why is he walking through shrubbery? I know and shit? he hit branch hits him fuck. on the head. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to know that more than the fact of why is he sending a message to the lady. Was and it just, a lady? No, it was. A guy. It was Scott. No, he's Scott's friend. Hey, Varney, this is blah, blah, blah. Do we need blah. to watch it again? It was, it was, <laughs> I'm telling you. Just listen. Ow. Shit. <laughs> uh, hey, Varney, this is Scott Russell's friend. See? I can't okay. wait to meet okay. you. So he's, he's trying to Scott. holler at a chick, and he's going through this little... I'm guessing he backyard. Named, that well, was shit, three we, fucking names he threw yeah, out. Hey, Vonnie, right. this His is own, Scott. someone else, and the Russell's girls. Russell's friend. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So he's so Scott. Vonnie. They're somehow so incorporated Vonnie. in all is this. Vonnie. Is that a name? Vonnie? Huh. Is that a Von? V-O-N-N-I-E. Veronica? That... Va- no. No. Uh, Von... I had an insurance agent lady. She's out here in Indianapolis. Her name's Vonnie as well. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, it's a common lady's name. I've never okay. heard that one. Well, yeah. like that. It's not... Like Veron, no. I, I, I was thinking Ronnie I, or something. I remember Vons the store. Well, right. Vons. Von right. Wamsley. I think it might have been a California thing. He's still in business, actually. I'm Von Wamsley. Yeah, I see his ass at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Call all Von Wamsley. Yeah. All right, I think I got one more. Okay. You got one more in you. Hit us with that gum Let me shot. Sure dunna, dunna. Right between the teeth. <laughs> dunna, dunna. It's another weird cringy. Uh. If there are any girl out there that's single, you need to let me know, please. Thank you and have a good day. What? I'm looking for somebody for a dirt that likes to ride dirt roads. For a dirt that likes to ride dirt roads. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to turn up the volume, but I was hitting the wrong. No, I heard it perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. It's just the content of this guy. <laughs> right. And like, if I was a lady, even if I was my size or his size over here for Kiefer, nah, I would fucking stun gun and have a fucking nine millimeter. I ain't playing with that shit. He looks like straight up stranger danger. Like he would want to abduct me. Like he's never had consensual sex in his life. I don't think he's ever had sex. Period. I mean, but he's probably never had period old. sex either. Yeah. Oh man, don't even. Get, That's yeah. the best kind. Yeah, just because you're the mozzarella and she's the marinara. That's right. I get it. Of what course. What the fuck? You've never heard that? No, oh, yeah. What you're the, the string fuck? cheese to that marinara. Bickety-bickety-bam. Yeah. That's and so then you make dirty. with the mozzarella. Yeah. 
yeah. That's the dirtiest shit yeah. that's ever been said on this podcast. Yeah. And then when you sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> What is that fucking... That's from your balls. From your That's the sperm. It's parmesan. Oh, man. Right. The, the, you gotta let it dry up. I mean, if you want Italian it to be seasoning. flaky, it doesn't have to be because they make, like, parmesan that's fresh and not, like, the little <laughs> sawdust crumbles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, let's... <laughs> That's funny, dude. Half life. If there are any girl out there that's single, you need to let me know, please. <laughs> Thank you and have a good day. Oh, man. I'm looking for Never somebody accept for a, dirt a drink from that man. That oh, my to God. Dirt no ropes. food. Bring your own. Okay. Say you have herpes. Just be safe about so it. So first he's like, if there's any single girls out there, it's let me know. It's probably saying it all slow. <laughs> like, that's I, not I don't think he's like... You know, I think he might have some. Well, you know, obviously he's problems. He's no, it's he's not ticked, even. He's talked. So, but he's like, talked. I, I uh, talked. <laughs> I don't care if he's all somed out. I'm he's just saying. He's tarted. I'll try and be a little. You are trying to be a super trooper, and that is not necessary because that guy, I wouldn't fuck him with your penis and him shoving me. I'm well, just letting you know. That's appreciated because okay. I wouldn't appreciate that. That would be kind of. I wouldn't care at that point if that money was right. No. Like you could have fucking asked. God, there's a fucking. I would cut you in before you got cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> Serial uh, killer Steve coming at you. Here's a delicious. Here's a nice money, lady. Right? Here's a predicament That's, for you. It's slow. It's low monotone. It it's making me think Ted Bundy or Dahmer. That's well, where look, it's killing me. With here's it, what's bro. gonna happen. They're gonna cut you in half, and then you're gonna get all that money. Real I'm in. Right. <laughs> like you're gonna wake up with your asshole blown out and a kidney missing in a tub full of ice in a seedy motel. <laughs> and it's not a good seedy motel. It's not like he's gonna clean the bathtub. You're gonna get infection. Besides what you got going on, it's a on. seedy motel. <laughs> yeah. All right, before we end this, I got a predicament for you. Okay? Predicament. <laughs> well, what's her predicament? Enunciation, folks. If you just found yourself <laughs> with your dick in your mom and your dad in your in your butt, mm. would you pull push backwards or push forwards? <laughs> Wait, okay, hold up. I'm gonna have to go one more time. Ta- what? One more time. We're assuming. Both of them are stationary, and I have to make a decision, right? No, no, I'll, I'll oblige this. I'm not understanding the rules. So I'd nail my mother till she's dead. So, I'm not pulling back. So, I'm not taking a dick in my butt. Uh, uh-uh. uh. So it's either this way or this way. Yeah. Would you, Would you like if you went back in time? If you were Philip J. Fry, would you do the nasty and the pasty? <laughs> The nasty in the no, I would. I mean, his grandmother cooked him sugar cookies and shit. You know, I'd like what great movies there are. Back to the Future, fucking Futurama. Anything has a good like little, almost incest plot in there. <laughs> <laughs> he almost fucked it. Marty McFly almost beat his mom. Oh god! So that's, you would back up, Keith? <laughs> Is no, that what you're saying? <laughs> that's all. I would just shoot myself. <laughs> I'd crack that cyanide capsule in my jaw, and then I'd foam at the mouth and die. Right. I'd no, try like, to spit poison well, like that dinosaur in Jurassic ends. Park. All that's right. how this episode is. Hemingway. Ends, Boom. <laughs> Wilson was raped. Hashtag funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for tolerating us. We're about to end it. Yeah, instant transmission. Uh. <laughs> Cheers. To all the queers and keep it being is gay. Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> is it Pride Month still it when is. this comes yeah, out? When this comes is out though? Yeah. June. I... All of it. Yeah. All of June. All How of many more June. Mondays do we have? Oh. Two? I'm not a calendar. Don't Nobody look at me. ever knows, right? You have a computer right there. Look at that. We'll check that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to you. All right. Call in and tell us. Peace out, everybody. Yes. Bye. Peace out. Peace with out. your pieces out. Yes. Yeah. Get your racist pieces out.
but he's probably never had period old. sex either yeah <laughs> oh, man don't even get that's man. the best kind yeah just because you're the mozzarella <laughs> and she's the marinara that's right <laughs> i get it of what course the fuck? 